What up, what up, what up, people? What's good? Salute, salute. Yes, sir. Yo, what's good, everybody? Salute to the tribe. We're hip hop and comics, comics and hip hop. We're a niche, we're a niche channel. We're a niche channel. Reserved for the best is super dope. I do sell comics. Check me out on Instagram at sixth underscore element underscore comic. <laughs> Yeah, because comic books are the sixth element of hip-hop. Like I said, I did my little homework, man. And uh, another uh, part of uh, one of y'all shows that y'all was talking about, where you were talking about uh, risk-takers versus assumers. And yeah. I, found that, I found that quite interesting because, um, like you're saying, taking that risk is like taking that chance. But like if you make that assumption before you might scare yourself out of it. And I really like how y'all broke that down. So if you don't mind, could you please um, break that down a little bit? You ain't got to go deep off into it. You can uh, that's what me and Heineken thing. Um, okay. If he was on the phone, like he assumes a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he talks about how, how far I, I've made it and people haven't done what I've done. I've been doing the music business since I was 19 years old. You know what I mean? And I said, I took risks. I risked my money. I threw parties. I Nobody never taught me nothing about the business. I don't have no lineage in the business. Right. Most of the people that you see know somebody that knows somebody, bro. They got lineage. Or, mm -hmm. or they got on when Dave East got his deal. Mm-hmm. And they became his manager right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Or some shit right. like that. But most niggas don't get on when I got on. Like, niggas would see me. Like, Puffy saw me when he first met me. And um, he he thought I, I actually was cool. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, yo, come out. Come and fuck with me tonight. You know what I'm saying? This was years ago, 2004, 2005. Right. The um, night that he invited me out, they were celebrating Biggie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was Biggie's birthday. They would do a party in um New York on um Biggie's birthday. Mm -hmm. So it's mad crowded and shit. So I, I pull up with my um singer at the time and Rock Wilder. I'm managing Rock Wilder too. You know what I'm right. saying? So yeah. we pull up and uh, I I got a brand new Hummer decked out. Doggy nigga shit. Clean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. Dog and nigga shit. I, you know, I, you know, shit was different. I had my long chain on, and my jewelry on. Back then, I really wasn't a watch person. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I, I was wearing like regular watches, but I had I had other type of jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, still, I yeah. still got a lot of jewelry, but right? I'm just a jewelry nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, Word. um, and I got out. And there was no place for me to park. So I got Rock Wild and them in there. And Puffy was like, I'm going to wait for you right here. And I was like, Rock, Ooh. yummy. That nigga's not going to wait for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to go park. Be on your cell phone. So I go around the 10th Avenue. I park. It's cold outside. It's March. I'm running back running to the back. joint. Yeah. Running, nigga. Running, yeah. right? Because I'm like, yo, this nigga's not going to wait for me. I'm nigga, I'm running, it. nigga. <laughs> so I'm running back to the back door, and he opens the door like, what the fuck you running for? Didn't I tell you I was going to wait here for you? Wow. And right. I was like, and he was like, and he said, how the fuck you got all of this shit that's humming all this jewelry, and I don't know you? Word. I'm just now meeting you. All right. And I said, I always was there. So I told him about a time when I was 16 in Cancun on top of the speaker. He said, man, I said, remember when you was on the mic and the little nigga was up there while he said, yeah, I said, that was me. Oh, shit. <laughs> he said, well, I was like, yeah, I said, and then when we was in mad other places, I just didn't play you close because if you didn't like my style, you could crush me. Yeah. Before I even get started. Right. True. So I chose not to make all the relationships that I could have at that time, but to take mm. the ones that I had and put the work in. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's and a build good my own foundation. Right. So I still Word. was making relationships, but I was honing in on the ones that I felt was like helping me. 
You know right. what I mean? Yes, right. sir. So I didn't outreach to a lot of people. I put myself in, in a position that I got with the right people, and then people would reach out to me. Right, okay. right, right. Until you said so. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying that to say that I always took risks. Okay. I, I, I didn't have a choice. That was a risk being around niggas like Puff Daddy and not talking to them. Yeah. That was a strategy. I'm I'm, I'm a big strategist. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think yes, everything. Sir. I just sit home and smoke weed and take three days off and just think and Ooh. be like, yo, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But, but, but no matter how successful you are, niggas don't listen. <laughs> It's it's like it's like you were saying uh, a couple times. You was like, "Well, we could just reschedule." And I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. We gonna make this work. Like, we gonna make <laughs> it work." But I feel you though. Like, getting being being ready to to you know what I'm saying make that good impression the first time before you you know jump in, man. But that's 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 price <laughs> right that, there. I live by what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you niggas might think. A, a whole nother nigga would be like rescheduled. They'd be like, oh, you trying to blow me off. No, nigga, I'm a manager first right. and foremost. Right. Word. And I manage myself. Right. So me rescheduling, people need to know how I think. Like, mm -hmm. there are different settings. People pay me to do their shows. Right? Yeah. But right. most right. of them is when I show up, I'll be like, yo, if it's just a Zoom and I could be at home and do it, I don't feel comfortable with charging niggas that I know is trying to come up. Right. Because I just went to four independent shows in December on their YouTube and they monetized the next day, nigga. As soon as they dropped my shit, nigga, I'm like, what the nice. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, yo, that's that's money. Like, nigga, you monetizing all off me, nigga. Like, yo, <laughs> yo yeah. you have 400 yeah. subscribers. Now you got a thousand. Like, I'm not saying I gave you 10,000, but I got you 700 to get you starting to make some fucking money, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's the real. That's the real. Yeah, we, and then, you know, we knew, we knew. We not, we not monetized yet. I mean, we, we, we partnership, but we're not monetizing videos yet because we want to make, you know, we want to get, get to a position. But, man, we, we, we couldn't appreciate this more, man. You coming on and giving us your time, man, because it really shows that you put your money where your mouth is and you... You true to your word because you said that yeah. on, the, on the thing. You was like, you know, cats got to help each other out. New, you know, support each other, man. Yeah. And you did that, man. And and that's priceless, bro. Yeah, we, I had, mean, we, had, we had we we had DJ end. Juice on here, and he was talking about that. How when Juice, you know, Juice was saying how like back in the day when he was you know pumping mixtapes out real hard. You know, he said he would talk to people and be like, yo, like you know, let's help each other out. Or if somebody came to him. You know, he would never turn them down. He'd be like, yeah, I, you know, I'll do whatever. I, you know, whatever. Whatever I can do to help you, that'll help me, that'll help each other. You know, he always said that. He he said that Denzel was the worst person he ever met because mm. he said Denzel wanted him to pay him. Because you know how Juice, if you ever listen to Juice Mixtape, you know how everybody did the shout outs on there. You know, mm -hmm. you had Clue and everybody, Puff Daddy, all them. Juice carried a little tape recorder and a microphone. So, you know, if he, like, if he seen you on the street, he'd be like, so give me a shout out, man. What's up? And you would be like, you know, this is so I'm chilling with DJ Juice, yada, yada. Yeah, right. And yeah, he put on his tape. <laughs> so he said he met Denzel one day. He asked Denzel. And Denzel was like, well, how much you going to pay me? And so he's like, what do you mean, how much you going to pay me? He was like, well, I'm a, you know, you know, you got to pay me. I'm, you know, he said, he said he was so mad. He just was like, you know what? I'm good, man. You just, you well, know, I ain't got to pay you. Ain't gotta... I'm saying cause that... because he, Denzel he said wrong. he said he thought it was juvenile. He said he thought it was juvenile in his eyes because but, but anybody me, else he asked, anybody else ask he asked, he just did it. Go let ahead. Me ask you a real question. Go ahead. Juice, wa Juice wanted that drop from Denzel because that was going to make Juice look good so Juice can make some motherfucking money, though, right? Exactly. Right, right. So right. why the fuck Juice can't pay? Juice want niggas to pay for his fucking services, my nigga. <laughs> 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 I'm saying, right? Hey, about? listen. I don't listen, see I that. get it. Listen, I get it. Everybody gave you a fucking freebie and they felt your style. Denzel was like, nigga, I'm fucking Denzel, though. Word. What are you talking about? Fuck who? 
and Puff Daddy <laughs> right. and all these other niggas, nigga. I'm, I'm a Hollywood international superstar. <laughs> one of the only black niggas that ever do it, Denzel Washington. My drop different. I don't do drop, bro. <laughs> my drop different, bro. My, my different, huh? Like, you got that voice. Drop. You know it's no, yeah, he got that voice. Yeah, my, 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 my drop come with a couple movie lines, huh? Yo, I got paid for that. Why well, I can't get paid for this? <laughs> no disrespect, Juice, but you got the know who you dealing with.